I wanted to review two ways of generating random pitches using a sine wave oscillator. So first we'll need a, a sine wave. Let's give it a default argument of 220. Gain tilde object to control the volume. Easy DAC. And oh, we don't have audio. Got to turn DSP on. And we have a sine wave. So what we want to do is generate uh, random numbers that will replace this argument of 220 hertz. Uh, it'll be the left inlet of the cycle tilde object, which will control the frequency. You can see it accepts a signal or a float. So we can create a fast metronome. Every 100 milliseconds, it'll send a bang. A toggle to turn it on and off. Random, let's say 500. Generate random numbers between 0 and 499. And then let's add 100 to that. So it'll generate random numbers between 100 uh, or I guess 99 and 499. Okay, uh, and just to see what these numbers are, we'll have a couple integers here to see what's going on. Now when I turn on this metro, it'll start sending these random numbers. Every 100 milliseconds it'll send a new frequency uh, to the cycle object. If you want to change your lower limit, all we have to do is change, either double click and change this argument. Or of course, we can control this with a cold inlet of the integer. Now, uh, Someone asked a really interesting question in class, how do I do this with only tempered pitches? Right now we're getting all sorts of interesting microtonality, the pitches between uh, the white and the black keys on the piano. Um, and I think the easiest way to do that would be, let's just duplicate this, um, would be to use a K-slider object. Um, and the K-slider um, will give you a nice little visual image of a keyboard. Uh, but most importantly, um, it's going to be using MIDI numbers in Max. And the difference between MIDI numbers and frequencies is that uh, MIDI numbers are linear. So for example, middle C is MIDI center, MIDI note 60. C sharp would be 61, 62, 63, etc. If we look at a uh, chart of these frequencies, they would be changing logarithmically. So you can't just add the same uh, amount to a frequency to raise it by a semitone. Um, so if we have, for example, and we know our lowest note here is 36, and our highest is 83. So we want to have, um, let's say, another metro of 100 with a toggle to turn it on and off. We want to generate, uh, let's say, I don't know, 50 random notes, random pitches. And we want the lowest pitch to be, I'll just clean this up a little, the lowest pitch to be 36. This will generate 50 random pitches starting at 36. So when we turn our metro on, it's going to kind of randomly, sometimes it goes a little bit above the K slider, but it doesn't matter. I think it still passes that number through. Um, it's going to start generating random pitches based on the corresponding MIDI note or MIDI number. Okay, so they'll always be uh, semitone apart. And Max has a nice little object that will convert MIDI to frequency. If we put a float under here, and the reason we're using a float is because often tempered pitches are very precise. It's 100 point something hertz. Um, we'll be able to see what, for example, this A, which is MIDI sent 45, is 110 hertz. A B flat would be 116.5 hertz. Okay, so this quickly converts um, this familiar interface into frequencies. And we can then, of course, I'll turn this one off.
So you can hear now it's random notes, but they're tempered pitches. There's no microtonality like what we have here. It really depends on your preference and what you want. Here we're taking advantage of the existing sort of uh, syntax or logic that is used to control MIDI notes in order to generate randomness. Here we're just generating random numbers and converting them to uh, to control the frequency of the of the sine sine wave. Um, anyway, let me know if you have questions.